hello guys today i'm going to show you how to uh, enable hardware transcoding on your jellyfin server which is installed on your android system so what is hardware transcoding so hardware transcoding is uh, something where you used your gpu instead of your processor to transcode or process higher bitrate media files uh, so that it can be played on a device like a mobile phone so in order for us to do this we you need to have a gpu which is capable of doing these steps so but normally you will not have a gpu in hand so if you don't have a gpu how can you play a media file which is a higher bitrate so by default jellyfin or other media players uh, will use the processor as a transcoding uh, device so to process those informations so in my case i have six core processor so if i show you i will play this higher bitrate media file uh, so if i go to the dashboard you should be able to see that it is saying transcoding so the movie file is being played if i refresh the page you should be able to see transcoding on the page So here so it says transcoding so if i go back to the android service dashboard and scroll down you are able to see that the process is 100 uh, percent used for this task so if you are running one or two uh, movies like this in your server in your home network uh, doesn't matter you can manage it but if you have clients which are like 10 or more than that then it's a problem so but you can uh, get rid of this problem by having a higher core count processor but normally a higher core count processor will cost more than a gpu uh, which is higher end so the best uh, solution for this currently is to have get a higher grade uh, gpu which is capable capable of doing this so if you have a gpu like a 1080 ti or 1070 or 2080 ti or 2070 then it's much more better uh, but you can go higher than that like a quadro p1000 those kind of things so those are high, higher end gpus which are used in enterprises but if you don't have any of those things you can use a 1080 ti or 2080 ti in my case i'm using a 1050 ti which is also capable of doing but uh, the number of uh, tasks that the gpu can handle are lower not like a 1080 ti or 2080 ti so in my case it's okay so the first step to enable hardware transcoding on jellyfin is to uh, stop your jellyfin server so i'm going to stop my jellyfin server and now what you need to do is you need to install the android nvidia drivers which is given to us by the uh, android server so for us to do that we need you need to go to community apps tab so if you don't have uh, don't have this already then I will have a link in the description in how to do it so uh, then if you install this or if you already have it now what you need to do is you need to search for Android Nvidia so when I search for Android Nvidia I will get this one so what you need to do is you need to install this first so I, as I have already installed this I don't have the install uh, icon so if you if you all if you also have already installed this then you will also get this icon if not install it then afterwards you will get this so after the installation is done go to settings now uh, you should be able to see something called under ut user utilities named as android nvidia so click on this and you will get an interface just like this so using this page or the previous thing that we just installed um, you can install the Android NVIDIA version uh, which is provided us with the NVIDIA drivers install, pre-installed. So in my case the current Android version in my system is 6.8.3. So if you are going to install the NVIDIA drivers you need to install the Android NVIDIA version which is matching to your current one. So in my case I need, I need to install this one. So select the specific version of your system and click download and install so in my case I, as i have already done this i don't need to so in yours you need to download and install and restart your pc after the restart is done 
what you need to do is you need to go back to this place and go down so now you should be able to see your gpu listed in here with the gpu id so copy this gpu id and keep it uh, in a place where you can access it later because we will need this later uh, to add the gpu to the jellyfin server okay so after you copy the information which is the gpu id uh, you need to go back to the docker tab so inside the docker tab you should be able to see the jellyfin server click on the jellyfin server and click on edit so if you already have this jellyfin server running stop this and now click on edit so after you go to the edit option of a jellyfin docker click on advanced view so in this advanced view you need to enter an extra parameter named as hyphen hyphen runtime equals nvidia so after type in this uh, extra parameter go down and now you should be able to see nvidia visible devices so here you need to uh, pay, paste the id which you just copied and kept safely uh, and copy this one so this is the id of my gpu and paste it here okay now uh, after that is done go down and now you need to add another variable so click on add another path port variable option click on variable and here you need to enter uh, device sorry nvidia driver capabilities in all caps paste it here and for the value all and for the description also same nvidia drivers capabilities uh, in all caps and click on add after that is done click apply and done okay now what you need to do is go to the web ui of your jellyfin server so inside the jellyfin server now what you need to do is you need to enable hardware transcoding in order for us to use the nvidia um, gpu as a hardware transcoding device so to do that we need to go to the dashboard so click on the dashboard icon go to playback click on transcoding inside on transcoding you should be able to see option called hardware transcoding click on the drop down menu and click on nvidia nvec transcoding so click that and click the uh, different types of uh, decoding options that you have on your system so in my case normally you will also have something called h264 and havoc uh, so i'm going to keep these default options and uh, enable hardware encoding also i'm going to clip that also and click on save so they warn us that it might be unstable but just click got it okay after the uh, functions are saved play something which is uh, which you know that is uh, using your process as transcoding uh, and see whether it is uh, doing these steps uh, using your gpu instead of using your processor so in my case i'm going to play a higher bitrate media file mm. so my media file is this one and i'm going to play this okay now the media file is playing now if i go back to my dashboard you are able to see my uh, movie is being transcoded now if i use this command which is watch nvidia hyphen smi i i am able to see whether uh, the transcoding is done in my nvidia gpu so to do that uh, we need to open the terminal using the unread dashboard paste it and click enter so here you are able to see something has been done uh, so i'm going to show you that this is the transcoding which is uh, done to this movie so i'm going to close it close this transcoding 
and open the terminal again so no processes are being run so that's good now i'm going to play the movie file again and now you can see that the transcoding is being processed on the android sorry so the nvidia gpu that i have plugged into my android server so like that you are able to enable hardware tra hardware transcoding on your jellyfin server uh, in android so thank you guys for watching and uh, like subscribe my uh, channel and have a nice day thank you